One of the most important shortcuts you will want to know are the shortcuts used for different edit modes in DaVinci Resolve. So we got the selection edit mode, trim, as well as the blade edit mode. The shortcuts for each are A, T, and B. Now let's stay on the selection edit mode for now. You will see that we can easily move a clip to a different track or different parts of the timeline. Now you can also uh, trim each clip in the timeline independently uh, and things are going to be however a little bit different uh, when we switch to the trim edit mode so now one thing you will notice first of all is that we can now slide a clip left and right but we cannot push it up to a different track we can also slip the content of a clip with the clip staying in position now, why is that important? Well, when we click in between two clips and it shows red, what that means is that we don't have enough overlaps between these two clips to allow us to put a transition there. So in this situation, what we can do is to slip the content of the clip on the left a little bit, and then we're going to slip the content of the clip on the right a little bit there too. So now there will be enough overlaps between these two clips uh, to allow us to put a transition there. All right, so another thing we can do in this mode is to trim each clip. Now, one thing to note here is that all the clips to the right will get impacted as a result, as you can see, because everything is rippled in the trim edit mode. All right, lastly, guys, we have the blade edit mode. And in this mode, the only thing we are allowed to do is to cut or split a clip. Uh, but you can do this anywhere in the timeline, and it's very straightforward to do. So what does all this mean? Well, there's a very good chance in real life you will want to leverage different edit modes constantly uh, during your edit in order to accomplish different effect. So as you can see during my demonstration here, I'm constantly switching and knowing the shortcuts is going to be a huge time saver. The next shortcut that you will want to know is the shortcut for ripple delete. So in DaVinci Resolve, by default, when we select a clip and I hit the delete key, we are going to be left with a big gap here. Now, what we could do is to select this gap and then hit the delete key again to close the gap. But this is just an extra step that you probably don't want to take. So what we could do instead is then uh, select that clip again. And then this time we are going to hit the shift delete keys and you will see that all the clips to the right will move to the left accordingly to close that gap automatically. Now you can do this to any clips uh, in the timeline. You can also do this to any clips uh, on different tracks. Uh, it will work exactly the same uh, every time. Now, just in case that you don't want the ripple, what you could do is to just uh, select a clip and then hit the delete key. Uh, so now just uh, be mindful that you will be left with the gap, but you have now full control in terms of how you want the clips to behave in this type of situation. All right, guys, last but definitely not the least, we got the almighty option key. You can do so many things using just this one shortcut. So as you can see now, what I'm doing is by holding down the option key and then using the scroller on my mouse, I am zooming in and then zooming out the timeline so easily and so quickly. Another thing you can do is to create uh, duplicates. So select the clip and then hold on the option key. We can now easily create a duplicate uh, of that original clip. And this is especially helpful if you want to create multiple copies very quickly. As you can see, all I'm doing here is to hold down the option key. You can now create uh, multiple copies very quickly in the timeline. Another thing we can do here is to create duplicates for transitions. So once you've applied your transition, feel free to go into the inspector panel, make whatever changes that you want to make. Now let's go ahead and hold down the option key. And then we can now apply this in another place, another part of the timeline. So just like that. And the best part is that you will see that in this new transition, you still have all the changes that you just made in the original transition. So you can create duplicates for not only clips, but also transitions. Another useful thing we can do here is to quickly create keyframes on the audio track. Again, by simply holding down the option key and then just click anywhere on the audio track of a clip. And then you will see that we have now different keyframes and it will allow us to adjust different parts of the audio clip very, very easily. Now, one last thing we can do here is to unsync the audio and also the video part of a clip. 
So what we need to do is to hold down the option key first and then select, uh, in this case, the video part of a clip, and then you can move it anywhere. You can do this also with the audio clip as well. And then you can, again, move it anywhere, uh, move it to anywhere in the timeline, or perhaps just want to get rid of it. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoy this tutorial. And as always, I will see you next time.